Hello from Quartzsite. Today's uh, been a long editing day. It's a little bit too warm for me. It's close to 80 degrees here. Badge is cooking dinner. Let's go see what he made. <laughs> Canadian thing, it's just a thing. So, you get ground beef or turkey, like Jack's give us a turkey, so we put it in here, <laughs> and just get taco seasoning mix, and you put it in there. Okay? Jack, you're gonna love this. this is, I did this for Jack because this is an easy thing for people to do cheese, onions, uh, celery, um, uh, peppers, mm -hmm. salsa. Now mm -hmm. you can have, we don't eat sour cream, but if you want sour cream, you can put sour cream or you can put lettuce in it, but we don't. You know, they get ahead of lettuce for this. Isn't really not, good. not just a mechanic, everybody. They, this is a cheap, easy meal for a lazy guy. That's what it is. <laughs> a taco That's maker. Exactly <laughs> what it is. All right, like so you can make this up on the road like a pound or two pounds of hamburger and put it in your fridge, right? Yeah. And then when you get it out, just get it out, I, warm it up in a plate. Oh, yeah. Okay, now this is the fun part. Now, all I know is you have to use Doritos. So you get Doritos <laughs> in the bag like this. Cool Ranch, we got Jack's spicy stuff because he likes spicy stuff. Now what you do is you crunch the bag up, right? And you get it into bite-sized pieces. Okay? And you get the... Scissors. Now this is great for kids in a birthday party. You just make this; they can do their own thing, right? So that's what you get, right? Yep. Okay. So what you do is you put in a scoop of hamburger or turkey meat, right? And then you put in uh, a scoop of uh, tomatoes. How much? You, like this is just that good salsa that Jack told us about. Mm -hmm. This stuff made in California. So. <laughs> They know how to make salsa, right? And then you put in some you like celery. Yep. That's the first, by the way. I've never had celery inside a taco okay. before. Um, peppers. And he says they're not Canadian tacos, by the way. You know, by the way, this is uh, <laughs> colored peppers because green peppers are still raw. I know you don't know that, but I'm telling you that. They're not all the way ripe, right? That's right. Yeah. So then you, this is where the fun begins because the kids didn't... You fold this together like so, and shake it up. <laughs> this is like this is so nachos sick. in a bag, huh? This is so sick. You're gonna... Okay, so then you just take and mix it up a bit more and get it all mixed up. It's exactly what it is, tacos in a bag. That's exactly what it is. I can hardly wait for this. <laughs> just say, holy jeez, is that ever good? And you put some cheese on it. You want any spices on it? Uh, no, that's good like that. Okay. <laughs> now we switch. Just, I'll give this to you. Thank you. And I'll hold the camera. All right, here, let's come out here where the light's a little bit better. Look in your face. <laughs> okay. Go. So yeah, now I got this. All right, here we go. Tacos in a bag. Tacos in a bag. It's not Canadian, by the way. It's just the... A... <laughs> hey? It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the last time I had Doritos, but it's good. It's quick. It's really quick. Mm -hmm. The guy probably took us 15 minutes to make that. Yeah, I want to, I want to try the Cool Ranch one after. Okay. <laughs> Well, I guess that's uh, it for today's video. I was uh, editing all day, um, and then me and Badge were around the fireplace, and we were talking about bus number two. So, <laughs> we had some exciting conversations, and uh, yeah, all I can say is that if I do get a bus, and... Uh, I get it before winter time we could fix up some of the mechanical stuff obviously uh, over here and depending on how this next 
six months goes, uh, that could be a possibility. Uh, I would have to cash out of this one, find myself a new one, and start all over from scratch. <laughs> Uh, but I do love this bus. It's an awesome bus. It definitely has its benefits. Uh, the size being one of them, you can pretty much park anywhere. So if I went bigger, I, I, I would want to go everywhere that I needed a small bus for. And I, I think that would be a, a fun trade-off. Uh, and then bunk beds for uh, Cody and Josh and Claire Bear. <laughs> she can... You can have her own bunk back there too. Um, yeah, I will. I think I'm taking off tomorrow, so uh, we'll definitely film all that. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs>